What's up everybody, Josh Lucas, the coach. I am the self-proclaimed premier armchair quarterback of the Cleveland Browns. Uh, I make videos when the Browns play, when there's Browns news, so on and so forth. If you, uh, in case you missed it, there is a new logo in the middle of the, uh, the home venue for the Cleveland Browns. He's Brownie the Elf, and Brownie the Elf is a complete and utter badass um, if you think differently I hopefully at the end of this video um, you come around and you understand just how impactful and badass brownie the elf really is okay uh, the biggest thing that I want you to take away from uh, this video is the fact that brownie the elf in its essence is a huge middle finger to that treacherous Judas who is art model Okay, we're going to explain why. A little bit of history about what Brownie the Elf is and where it came from. Brownies, or Brownie the Elves, or Elves called Brownies, or whatever you want to call. Um, before the Cleveland Browns ever existed, were mythological creatures that would come around and do household chores and tidy up things if you left goodies out for them. Um, and that is the, I guess, the origin of what would then become you know brownie the elf with the cleveland browns uh in the 40s 1946 47 48 and 49 cleveland browns won uh american football conference championships okay uh or american football league championships there was it was the pinnacle of uh, american football as we know it today it just wasn't called the nfl and it wasn't uh called the super bowl they won four consecutive titles and the owner, whose name escapes me at the time, um, wanted and needed a logo so that he could use it for parades, uh, advertisements, something that could be symbolic of the Cleveland Browns. Okay. Um, he requested fan submissions. So he collected a bunch of fan submissions, combed through them, and carefully chose Brownie the Elf as the, uh, the new badass mascot for the Cleveland Browns in the 1940s. The people loved it. The players loved it. Everybody loved it. Um, but in 1961, Art Modell, there's that guy again, Art Modell bought the team did not like the the logo was he, he was embarrassed by it he said um and slowly began to phase it out but not before the cleveland browns won their last championship in 1964 in 1964 they put a crown on top of, of brownie's head uh, to signify that accomplishment and, and pay tribute to that accomplishment uh, but soon after the cleveland browns i should say art model completely vanquished Brownie the Elf, um, with a little bit of a side note, they were going to go with a logo that was just a C and a B for Cleveland Browns, and they were going to put that on the side of the helmets. Well, the players said, no, 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 no. You will not put anything on our helmets, especially not a C and a B. So they took that out and they threw it away. So they phased out Brownie the Elf to make room for the C and a B logo, and the C and a B was widely rejected. So we were logoless for a very, very, very long time, which is really why the logo became just the helmet itself. Um, in from, from 1960, uh, mid 60s, all the way to 99, uh, there were there was no mention of Brownie the Elf. And then when the Browns returned in 99, uh, Al Lerner uh, said, "You know what? We're on board with Brownie." We can kick it with Brownie. Uh, he's a part of our culture now. And they brought back aspects of Brownie the Elf uh, in 2006. Uh, I think he was on the training camp gear and that kind of stuff and um, so on and so forth. But now, this is the most prevalent that Brownie the Elf has been. And for good reason. Um, it is, he is just an absolute badass. Uh, he's toting the rock. What do the Browns do? Cleveland Browns, Nick Chubb, and Kareem Hunt. What do they do best? They tote the rock, just like Brownie the Elf in midfield. Um, and this is a new team. This is a new atmosphere. So it's a new logo, a new, a new refresh. But we don't want to just, you know, completely 
come up with some crazy new new uh, idea that's never been heard of before. We want to be grounded in our roots, uh, which is why Brownie the Elf fits so good. Every time that you see it, because you got to remember, um, Art Modell vanquished Brownie the Elf, just like he vanquished the Cleveland Browns and sent them to Baltimore. So every time you see Brownie the Elf, it is a giant middle finger to Art Modell. If you can't get behind that as a Browns fan, you're not a Browns fan, sir, or ma'am, or child, or your honor, or whoever you might be watching this video. I need you to embrace the elf. Embrace that middle finger to Art Modell, okay? And just live in it. Embrace it and live in it. No matter what, though, go Browns. Hopefully now you understand where they came from, where it came from, and why you should hashtag embrace the elf. So I'm Josh Lucas, I am the coach, and I'll see you in a little bit the next time I have anything to say about the Browns. See ya.